this place. Back to revisit it 
And I saw something in this scripture that I didn't see previous times until he brought it back to my attention. Uh, the scripture is Psalms 27 and 8. 27 and 8. I want to thank my son, Raymond III. He's trying to help me out. He's got a thing now that uh, will help me out tremendously on Sunday mornings. And thank God for his talent that he has that will help us. He's got even a reference scripture from another translation that will make this verse 28, verse 8 of the 27 Psalms clearer. 28 Psalms 27 and 8. If you don't have it, say, wait a minute. Good. I'm going to ask you to stand the rest of God's word. And I'm going to ask you to say this nice little word. 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 Amen. I'm reading from the King James Version, which is what's on the, on the wall. When you said, seek my face, my heart said to you, your face, Lord, will I seek. Most gracious and all wise Father, hear him again, and I need you to help me with this verse of scripture. Bring out clarity, bring out freshness of word, speak for your servant who is here. Send fresh manna from on high, speak God. God, I pray God over the ears of the hearers of hearts, of the receivers, and that your word will fall on good and fertile ground and produce fruit in days to come. God, I pray, God, you keep me humble, obedient, submissive, and sensitive to your spirit. Keep me ever at the foot of the cross where you can get the glory and the honor and the life of me, your servant. God, let the words of my mouth, the meditation of my heart, my words, my thoughts, be your words and your thoughts. O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer, these blessings I ask in Jesus' mighty and awesome name I pray, and I do thank you. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Now, I'm read that scripture again. When you say, seek my face, my heart said to you, your face, Lord, will I see. My brothers and sisters, for the time that we do share together, I want to talk from the subject of come talk to me. Come talk to me. We talk to everybody else on a regular basis. Regularity. Don't miss a day. We talk to others every day. We feel a need to talk to one another every day. We feel it important, needful, and helpful if we talk to someone every day. It makes our day if we just hear somebody calling us every day. Well, I want to tell you something. God wants us to talk to him too. Amen. Every day. Amen. It is a great delight to God whom we serve Amen. when he hears us talk to him Amen. every day. Amen. And if I look biblically, Daniel was a person who talked to God three times a day. Regularly. Continually. He did not stop talking to God. Even in adversity, knowing that if anyone sent a petition to God, all man would be thrown into the lion's den, Daniel did not deviate from what he always done. And what he always done, what he'd always done. You and I have got to talk to God on a regular basis. Not only when things are going well, but when things are not going well as well. We, 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 
we have a tendency as believers that when things are going well, I'll talk to God later. And then we get too busy and we forget to talk to Him. And then when things come up in our lives, then we want to talk to God like never before. But God wants us to talk to Him every day. Verse number seven says this. You got that too? All right, you got some statements. Verse seven says, "Hear, O Lord, when I cry with my voice." <laughs> have mercy. Have mercy. Have compassion. Also upon me and answer me. When I look at verse number seven, I see David seemingly, I want to suggest to us that David seems like he's going through. He says, Here, when I cry out my voice. Have mercy also on me and answer me. He's right here. This is he's prayer. He's in prayer. He's talking to God. He's pointing his heart to God. He's letting God know that I need you to hear me. Can I just say, ask y'all something? Don't ask it, don't ask it, don't ask it, but I know y'all done it. Be real me. Uh, there are times in our lives we feel that God does not hear us. So we ask, we really honest. God, hear me. When I pray, when I cry with my voice, hear me, Lord. He says, have compassion on me and answer me. The reason why he's saying that, he said, God, I'm here for being a while. Even though I'm with you, watch this, watch this, watch this. Even though I'm here every day, I'm talking to you every day, but I haven't, I haven't heard from you. Answer me. You know how you move your prayers, you talk to your child, you Child, like they ain't hear you, they, they look nonchalant and, and you say, Do you hear me? <laughs> Are you listening to what I'm saying? You know, we as parents be saying that. So David is saying here the same and the same mindset. Lord, answer me. Well, I need to hear from you. Right, yeah. <laughs> now think of that to hear from you. I need to hear from you. I think about Donnie Brooklyn's song. Speak to my heart. I need to hear from you. I need a word from you. If I don't hear from you, I don't know what to do. What to do? Speak to my heart. And so David said, God, speak to me. So, so, so in verse 8, verse 8, verse 8, verse 8, verse 8, I had to go there and get to verse 8. And so verse 8 says, when you say, See my face. I won't stop right there. When you say, see my face. I asked earlier this morning, I'm still digging for some nuggets in the gold man of scripture. So I said, God, the first word of the text says when. What does when mean that will get clarity on the first part of the text? He says, when you say, see my face. Come. The word when means <laughs> a specific time. Not only that, but it also means because you say it. But I want to use another word. He said, since you say it, seek my face. I want to show y'all something here. Since you see it. Because you see it. <laughs> At the specific time, you see it. See my face. He, this is talking in prayer, y'all. Prayer. We talking about prayer. 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 For God is telling David to continue to seek me in prayer. Even when you don't see me like last week. When you don't find me the right or the left, seek my face. Go after me in prayer. Because let me tell y'all something. Prayer is a weapon for the saints. And the enemy know that prayer is a weapon for the 
saints so he will stop the saints from having a continuous relationship and prayer with God. So God tells David, when you, David, David, when I said, basically what he really said, seek my face, seek my face, go after me in prayer. But watch this, he said, watch, 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 watch what the next part is. He says, I'm almost done, y'all. This won't be the long day. But I want to show you something. He says, my heart said to you. Yeah. I see something happening here. I hear what you're saying. I told you to ask me in verse number seven. So now he's asking David in verse number eight. Because David replies said, when you say it. So in other God has always said, must, God has must have said something to David. Right. David I insisted on an answer from God. So God said, well, since you want an answer, I need you to see my face. Amen. And David said, my heart said to you, Lord, your face will I see. That's obedience Amen. to God. That is obedience to God. Well, I want to tell y'all something. The devil does not want, and I said it before, want us to pray. Doesn't want us to seek God's face. Doesn't, uh, let, me, let me go further. He says, seek my face. I asked the text of verse about the face. He says, go after my presence. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to talk, y'all. I want to talk. For now, unless God says something later. But look at that. He says, seek my face. Seek my presence. Get in his presence. Get in the presence of God in prayer. And my heart, but the heart, the heart means uh, my inner man. Uh, my inner man. My inner man has got to get in your presence. Not only the inner man, but it talks about my soul, my spirit man. He's got to connect with you. <laughs> Have you ever been in prayer? I mean, sincere prayer? You tune everybody out? Tune everything else out? And you in sincere prayer to God, in the presence of God, and God starts to move while you talk to Him? And, and you have, oh my God. It's an experience like no other. And so God said, I need to get in my presence because I'm going to. Take you in another, oh man. I'm gonna take you another place in me. When you get in my presence, mm. your presence, your presence will I seek. Will you get in God's presence? I, I, I heard I heard years ago, uh, Elder Walker was, was teaching. He just came back to me about the presence. He said it was so, that's when he used to live on Oak Hill Drive. He said he was up in this little prayer room and he said that there was just nothing but smoke. So much smoke in the room, he couldn't see his hand. And all that was was the presence of God in the room. Tune everything else out. Tune out your cares. Tune out your afflictions. Tune out what you're going through. Of, and fellowship 
fellowship with him that by prayer and supplication, talking to God, sitting by telling God all about your problems, taking your burdens to the Lord and leave them there. Can nobody love you Amen. like the Lord? Ah, that all your prayer and supplication for His sake ain't really for your sake. It's for His sake. Amen. You think it's for you? No, it's for Him. <laughs> but you feel better because you're in His presence, and with all your soul, with every being, every fiber inside you, go after God. I'm going to give you a perfect testimony here in a moment. Put God on Zion. Hallelujah. This heart needs the spirit man, but, but also when he says, my heart said to you, your face will I seek. Uh, they will always find it good for them to draw not in him. Yeah, yeah, find it good to draw not in him because James said, I believe James 4 and 7 said, draw not in him and he shall draw not in you. Uh, just look closer to walk with him. It's going to make everything all right. And it's the best way of seeking God is when the heart, watch this, when the heart, when the soul, and the inner man is engaged with God. All right. Engaged with God. I want you to know the word engagement. Uh -huh. Engagement. Because he had bidden him to seek his face, he found his heart, watch this, he found his heart ready to seek God. All right. You can't get in the presence of God until you seek God's face. Right. And you cannot get in the presence until your heart oh, 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 is in it. Yeah. Now, I'm not going to go further, please don't get mad at me, but when you go and seek his face, your heart has also got to be right. You can't get in the presence until your heart is right. And then your heart is engaged and ready to go after God. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Ooh, Jesus. Your face, Lord, will I seek in obedience to your command. The New Living Translation makes it real clear. You got it? Watch this. The New Living Translation. And I'm coming home. Listen, what the New Living Translation says. My heart has heard you say. My inner man has heard you say. My soul has heard you say. Come and talk to me. <laughs> you should be shouting that one. <laughs> my heart said, my heart has heard you say. Come and talk to me. And my heart responds. Oh, there it is right there. My heart responds. Yes, yes, yes. Not only does my heart hear you, but my heart is receptive and it re responds to, to the Lord. Yes. Oh, yes. And watch this. I'm coming. Yes. Here I go, God. Hello, God. Yes. I'm responding to what you say. Because when I go in response to what you say, you won't move on my behalf.
So I went into prayer with them, and I didn't even tell them I was going to pray for them. They called me. Mom, I'm in Stein, Mom. I'm in, I'm in Steinmark. Really, I took something back. And I didn't have a receipt. God gave me mercy. He said, what we'll do, we'll give you credit. Good car, good credit. You use that. So I'm in there trying to find me something else. I get a phone call. Let me tell you something. You gotta believe what you talk to God about. Yeah. So I'm in, I'm, I'm in Steinmark trying to find something else from my return. Phone call said, this and so happened. And it happened the way I asked God to make it happen. Uh -huh. I told the person, I said, I said, man, that's exactly what I prayed. I said, I want to holler. And I told the person, well, I said, I want to holler and Steinmark. I want to run and Steinmark. Because when you go into prayer uh -huh. and you get a place of God and you seek God's face, and you let God guide you in what you do, what you say, how all the elements of life. If you go and seek God's face, His presence, God will direct you. Yes. God directed me in how to pray. And pray that specific way for that person. And from that, God showed me, said, when you start praying for other people, you tell me how, you ask me how. Now hear me what I'm going to tell you. You ask me how should you pray specifically for that individual. Right. That was a teaching moment for me. Right. Because we pray, we pray, we pray, we pray. But, but God knows everything, y'all. God knows how to do and when to do and what to do. So what we got to do is, as I said earlier, 